don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. You didn't fall. Hi people on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> so I own a music sheet stand and I never actually got any use for it. And now I am using it to balance my camera. I'm incredibly tan. Lots of sun in my country. Lots of sun. Today's video. So the other day I was sat on the bus waiting for it to actually go take me home, you know, the thing. And next to me was a friend, or a kind of friend, and we were just conversing, you know, the usual things. I'm hungry and I had to run all the way up to the stupid bus stop only so that the bus wouldn't be here. I hate exercise. I just really love exercising. This whole event just made me realise that I am very grateful about the fact that people cannot read my mind. I'm just happy that people don't know what I'm thinking all the time, because imagine a world in which everybody would know your every thought and opinion and all the little things that you keep to yourself. Like the other day when I was at an algebra class and I was just waiting, waiting for the teacher to walk in so that I could ignore him even more blissfully while reading. You little person have been staring at me for the last 10 minutes. What is wrong with you? Hi. It's me. Hi. What's your name? Oh, I'm, I'm Lana. I'm Lana. Yeah, I have it on my shirt. It's really cool, isn't it? My shirt. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a shirt with a name. On it. Geek merge. Geek alert. What is it that you're reading? Oh, Sherlock Holmes. That's really interesting. Yeah, I like it. And do you like it? Did you? Did you really not hear me just now? I'm reading a Sherlock Holmes book, and I've got this eyes bookmark because it was given to me by a friend. Careful, it's staring at you. The hypocritical thing of this all is that most of the time while I'm talking to people I'm just worried about what they might be thinking. Generally I don't give a crap about what people think of me. It's such a strange thing to see my face being recorded from an angle which does not make me look like I have four chins, which I actually do have. And a lot of the time I find myself wondering what the other person is thinking while we're conversing because, you know, I'm not exactly the most fluent talker and I'm not exactly the most sensitive or sensible person when it comes to talking. So generally I will say something like ha, your mum, it's llamas. <laughs> and the other person will just be like, what? I don't know, I'm just so awful at this whole human interaction thing and I tried my best. And, and a great example of this was when I went to choir for the first two or three weeks or maybe five or seven weeks, in which I would sit and I would try to make conversation, just small talk with the people around me. But I was such a chatterbox, I just, when, when we were about to sing, I just couldn't shut up. And people would just be like, well, people of the internet was really very much all I had to say. And uh, give it a thumbs up, share it, share, 